how do we isolate an object and change the color? So I want to take this woman's hair and make it all sorts of different colors, but I don't want to affect the color of the grass or her skin. I just want to isolate the hair. Uh, as with everything in Photoshop, there's lots of different ways we can approach this. So as we talked about before, we painted on the brush using blending modes. We're going to try something very similar. So we're going to add a new layer and we are going to get our brush tool and we're going to get a pretty good size. Let's do maybe uh, 400 pixels and we're going to zoom in on this woman's hair and we are going to paint. Let's pick a very bright color. I think red's probably a pretty good bright color and we're going to paint on red on just the woman's hair. So this is a little bit more of a crude method of doing it, but it could be accurate uh, depending on the situation that you're in. But it's kind of your quick way to quickly paint on a color. Just kind of crudely painting over her hair where I see it the most dense. Of course, you might need to make the brush a little bit smaller so you can paint around more fine areas. Like right down there by her ears. And we could take the eraser tool and do the same thing and erase areas like part of her forehead that we didn't mean to do. We don't want to change the color of her forehead. We just want to change the color of the hair. Okay, so now we're going to zoom out and we're going to do blending modes to kind of add a different kind of color effect to her. So I'm right here in my layers panel and I'm going to do a couple of blending mode effects. It's going to let certain pixels through. It's going to make her hair super duper red. Let's do the soft light. So you notice how it's really letting in that red. So this is, if I toggle this layer off, this is just a big old painted layer that we painted. And when we toggle it off, you notice it's brown. And then all of a sudden it's red. So what you're going to have to do with this method is we're going to have to go back and kind of select her hair and kind of erase some of that red because it's starting to bleed into the grass. So you can take some of your selection tools, do magnetic lasso tool, kind of go around her hair and just like slowly select and then kind of delete. So it's a little bit of a tedious method, but it works very quickly. Just going around certain areas, just kind of cleaning up our kind of rough quick selection. So let's go ahead and zoom out. We might even have to select all of the daisies and get our eraser tool and kind of make sure those are cleaned up. Just getting the eraser tool and removing that red on top of the daisies so that those aren't affected. So that's definitely one method of doing it. Let's go ahead and zoom out and see what we have here. So we definitely has changed her color. We can do it on her eyebrows too. Let's do her eyebrows because not many redheads have eyebrows that are that brown. They have them kind of red, right? So I'm going to create a new layer on top. We're going to take the same red and take a much smaller brush. And I'm using a soft round brush because it's a little more forgiving in the situation. And I'm just painting on some eyebrows. This looks really silly. We're going to do the blending mode we did before. Let's see what blending mode we did. Soft light. So let's see what soft light looks like. And we're going to have to go in and definitely lighten these and feather this up. So we might even have to reduce the transparency so it's not quite as strong. And then we're going to have to take the eraser tool and slowly kind of make sure we don't have any red in areas that really shouldn't be there. We can even reduce the opacity of our eraser tool so we can kind of feather our deletion. Just give it a more natural feathered erasing. So let's zoom out. So there's our little redhead. Maybe just reduce that opacity a little bit. We just want a little tinge hint of red. We don't want super red eyebrows. We just want a little hint of red. So there you go. We were able to change her hair color. I can even go up to image and change our hue. Just going down to hue and saturation. And we're going to change that red color. We can give her all sorts of different hair colors. We could do a crazy green. We could do crazy purple. Ooh, some of these are really interesting looking. Kind of like the red, but maybe we'll just stick with red, but just kind of showing you how you can kind of change this really quickly. So we can desaturate it, probably make it look more natural. 
or increase the redness for a more dramatic effect. And there you go, we have our little red head. So this was before, this was after. So that's just one way that you can change hair color or you can change and isolate anything, not just hair, but any, any kind of object. You can kind of paint over or select that particular object and do a blending mode of that color to be able to change it.